What's up guys, Stealth Black and YC here, back with another video. And today we're going to be going over the week of August 9th in sports. But today we're only going to be going over the important things of trying to make these videos shorter. So yeah, let's get into it. So in the NFL, George Kittle signs a 5 year, $75 million deal, making that big, big cash. Uh, Travis Kelsey, literally the same day, signs a 4 year, $57 million deal. So both Super Bowl tight ends. Got make making the big bird, <laughs> and this is probably the funniest story. Um, Seahawks rookie Kamal Silverland waved after he tries to sneak a woman into his hotel room. And the best part about that is, he tried to disguise the woman as a football player, so the coach and, and staff wouldn't notice. Obviously, they noticed. It just shows that one wrong move could mess up your entire career. Because who wants a dude that tried to sneak a woman into his hotel? And the Packers also signed Kenny Clark to a $70 million deal, making, that, making him the highest paid nose tackle in NFL history. So on to the NBA. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo suspended one game after a headbutt. And look, I know I play basketball. I know people get on your nerves a lot of times. It happened to me once. This kid was talking a lot of smack, even though the score was like 33 to 11. And I ran past him, gave him a little bit of a push with my shoulder. I regret that. And, you know, at the end of the quarter, we had some words with each other. We got into it. He pushed me. I pushed him back. And double technicals. So, um, but that's understandable. But a headbutt, especially in these times, he could have easily caught coronavirus doing that headbutt. And... Honestly, he's lucky he did. So I think one game is very generous. Uh, Russell Westbrook is actually expected to miss the start of the playoff with a strained left quad. Um, ben Simmons uh, expected to undergo surgery. Damian Lillard, just look in the bottom right corner. His numbers speak for themselves. Uh, and the Pelicans and Bulls both fire their head coaches after they both missed the playoff. So, big question for everyone. Who deserves the NBA restart MVP? Lillard or Booker? Giannis or LeBron? Comment below, let me know what you think. And in the MLB, not really much went on. Uh, Pirates and Red Series were postponed after I remember the Reds test positive for coronavirus. Uh, the Phillies got a walk-off win over my Mets after Bryce Harper hits a walk-off walk -off hit. And the Cardinals, this isn't really news, but this is more of like a fact. The Cardinals actually have to play 53 games in 45 days, and they got to win. So that's going to be very, very, very tough for the Cardinals. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. I want to start doing these sports videos more often, but I also want to start making them shorter. But, um, let me know in the comments what you think about this video, what you think about the question, who you think is going to win the, um, restart MVP. I personally think it's going to be Damian Lillard. He's been on fire lately, but let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong. And, um, yeah, I'll put you guys in the next one. Peace.